Are the Xbox Game Studio games years away, or is Xbox getting ready to launch their biggest games in history along with massive third-party deals that we haven't even heard about yet? Let's get into this amazing article that talks about some amazing Xbox rumors and leaks that are just around the corner. Let's get into it. Hey everyone, thanks for stopping by and checking out the video. Remember to hit that subscribe button and that like button. The support is greatly appreciated. All right, enough of that. Let's get into this amazing Windows Central article that has a lot, and I mean a lot of rumors and things that might be coming to Xbox and not only 2021, but for several years down the road. Now, there's a lot to cover here, and to be honest, I couldn't do this all in one video because I just had a lot to say about everything that was said in this article. And one of the rumors in the article is something I've already talked about, which is the Kojima rumors. To see that, you can check out the video I made and see what I had to say about that and where the rumor came from. But for this video, Video, I wanted to concentrate on a couple of rumors, which is the new games being published by third party developers for Xbox only, and the rumored Xbox Game Studio games that are in development but might be years down the line. So let's get into this and talk about the Xbox Game Studios first. Here's what the article starts off by saying Everwild, Fable, and Perfect Dark, years away. This next rumor is a little less positive for those waiting on Microsoft to deliver those big exclusives we've all been waiting for. GameIndustry.biz editor Christopher Dring recently said on a VGC podcast that some of Microsoft's upcoming games are far away. This is what he had to say. I've had few conversations with friends at Xbox Game Studios and those games they announced Everwild Perfect Dark Fable are so far away as in they might even be in a new xbox by the time these games come out when you look at the hideo kojima stuff you wonder if they are signing third parties in the moment because they don't have a lineup of big exclusives at all all right so this is a rumor i've seen thrown around a lot and to be honest a lot of people have messaged me asking me if this is true and to the best explanation i could give you is that no one really knows with everything going on around the world and with the pandemic and the delays being thrown at games all over the gaming industry it's almost certain that these delays have affected xbox games and sony games especially games being made by studios who are just getting their feet wet like playground games who is doing their first new AAA studio they've been building since late 2017. So yeah, I have a feeling this might be happening and that a lot of these games are going to be delayed for at least a couple of years. And two of those games, Perfect Dark and Fable, are being made by brand new studios that are putting their teams together to make their games. And if you've worked in the industry or tech industry, you know that putting a team together with great people that work well together, it just takes time. And that's exactly what's happening here. They need time to get the teams right, but also need time to create the game. Now, as for Everwild and Perfect Dark, I think those games are a little farther along than Fable because they've been shown and hinted at for a while. Not to mention, Perfect Dark isn't this massive huge game like Fable is going to be. And Everwild is being created by Rare, who are an established team and a great studio for Xbox. So yeah, maybe these three specific games are delayed, but that doesn't mean Xbox will have a drought of games like the article mentions right here. Although how one interprets far away could be subjective, if we use a new Xbox mid-gen upgrade as a frame of reference, the Xbox One X came out four years after the Xbox One, putting some of these games in the 2024-2025 timeframe potentially. Depending on the scope and breadth of these games, I'd argue that's not entirely unexpected. Given that we expect many or most of Bethesda's future games will go exclusive to platforms with Xbox Game Pass, Bethesda and partnerships with companies like Kojima Productions could help plug some of the gaps between now and then. There's also a question of State of Decay from Undead Labs, projects from Obsidian, Double Fine, In Exile, Compulsion, and various other studios that should prevent the slate between now and then getting too dry. All that disregards some sneaky games we've recently learned about too. This is probably the most logistical explanation I've seen when it comes to this rumor because there's a lot of things that Xbox is working on that can help fill in the gaps that Fable, Perfect Dark, and Everwild create. Because like it says right here, Bethesda games are 8 more studios coming to the Xbox first party family. So they'll have plenty, and I mean plenty of games ready to go for Xbox to really push the Xbox Series X console and Xbox Game Pass service to gamers. And you throw in Undead Labs, Obsidian Entertainment, and Exile, and of course Compulsion Games, 
And you can see that Xbox has plenty, and I mean plenty of studios to really help Xbox have exclusive games that help push the product and their hardware. Now, of course, the rumors of Everwild and Fable being delayed is sad to hear, but after seeing what happened to Cyberpunk 2077 and a couple other games that launched too soon, I will give Xbox the benefit of the doubt and tell them to delay those games until they're good and ready to come out. And I have a feeling that Xbox understands how important these first party games are going to be for Game Pass, especially since they have delayed Halo Infinite for a full year just to make the game look better and perform better. That cost Xbox and Microsoft millions upon millions of dollars, but they didn't bat an eye and they decided to help the game and developers by giving them a full year more of development. Which brings me to the third party games that are filling in those gaps for Xbox Game Pass. Like the article said previously, Kojima and all those rumored third party deals are going to come up because it's what Xbox is going to do to fill in those gaps of non-Xbox first party releases, which the article talks about right here. Microsoft naturally builds and publishes many of its own games from internal studios, but has worked extensively with third party studios to build games exclusive to Xbox. Microsoft Xbox Global Publishing Team funded more games like Quantum Break, Killer Instinct, and Crackdown in the past, all of which were built by external teams. Recently, we received a large cache of information from trusted sources, which hints at some of the future deals Xbox's partner publishing teams are working towards. I recently teased the following on Twitter using a Cyclone emoji. Many took this to mean the Dreamcast logo, Sonic, or Ubisoft, but it's actually in reference to a game Microsoft is looking to publish with a prominent third-party AAA studio. You can see the tweet right here by Jess Gordon and I'll leave it on the screen for a couple of seconds, but I do have to jump in here because Xbox is working on multiple third-party deals. And to be honest, we've seen some of them come up already. I'm talking Warhammer Dark Tide, The Gunk, The Medium, and of course Outriders coming to Xbox Game Pass day and date. All of these things are basically Xbox trying to lock down as much content as possible so they can have Game Pass be the ultimate subscription membership for all gamers. And to no one's surprise, it's working marvelously. Yet that still doesn't give us hints as to what type of games Xbox is working on with third party studios and what type of games they're going to make. Now, of course, we know they have AAA third party studios they're talking to. That's been something we've known for a very long time. But we don't know the game they're making and when it's planned to be announced. And to be quite honest, we don't know what studios they're locking down, which the article mentions right here. I don't want to share more details and spoil upcoming reveals for the devs or fans, but this particular one sounds extremely promising. Set in what sounds like an ambitious connected world. Microsoft isn't done there either. The above game could be revealed this year or perhaps next year, depending on how development goes. Beyond that, I've been made aware of not one, but at least three additional games being prototyped by Xbox publishing partner studio of a high caliber. None of these are in the rumored game Microsoft may be working on with Kojima either. Many of these games may not emerge from prototyping stage as it often the case in this industry, but each sounds impressive in its own right, across a diverse range of genres and settings, and of course they'll all hit Xbox Series S, Xbox Series X, PC, and platforms that support Xbox Game Pass. All right, I have to say it, that's just insane to hear. I mean, just think about it, everyone. Xbox is working on not one, not two, not three, but four new AAA games, three of which Windows Central has heard about, and of course the Kojima rumored one. Xbox isn't just trying to bring out one AAA game every couple of months to Game Pass. It sounds like they're trying to bring out one monthly for people to stay subscribed to Xbox Game Pass. And if you look at what they've done just this year, you already know that's exactly what they're doing. We've had so many games join Xbox Game Pass just in March and April, it's become kind of overwhelming and kind of funny at some point. But again, we have to hand it to Xbox. They decided to put their money down and invest into their platform and invest more money into the gaming platform than any other company I've seen out there. And it's not even close. Sony puts a lot of games out there and they have a lot of games in the works, but I'm honestly blown away with just how invested Microsoft is with Xbox. For the first time in Xbox's history, they finally have the backing of Microsoft and are using every single resource they have to make Xbox the best place to play games. I just hope this continues for the entire generation because I want to see Sony respond and I want to see Xbox continue the onslaught of news and games they've been doing lately. Because that's what this generation is all about for Xbox. It's making up the lost ground they had during the Xbox One generation and so far, they're knocking it out of the park. 
But enough of what I think about this. Let me know what you think about this. Are you surprised that Xbox has so many games in development? What three studios do you think Xbox is working with? Do you believe that Kojima is actually making a game for Xbox? What can Sony do for third party? We saw them work with Bethesda, but now that they're off the table, who will they turn to? Go now below and let me know. And I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, please hit that subscribe button and that like button. The support helps out the channel more than you know. And give me a follow on Twitter at Zalker87. I'm always on there talking games and sharing my latest videos. Plus, I love interacting with everyone there. So get on Twitter and let's talk about gaming. Also, follow me on Xbox Live. My gamer tag is Zalker87, just like my channel name. See what games I'm playing and let's compete in achievements for the month. So right now, I've been playing a bunch of games. I've been playing Bulletstorm. I've been playing the Warhammer Inquisitor Martyr game that's kind of Diablo-esque. I'm jumping into Outriders again because I know there was that big bug that kind of wiped out people's inventory. So I kind of stayed away from the game for about five or six days because I didn't want that to happen to me. But now I'm going to jump into it tonight and all week and I'm going to try to beat it because I had a lot of fun with that game. But I know they needed to patch it. And hey, that's what happens with online games. When they're always connected online, there's always going to be problems during launch. I'm just kind of used to it. So it doesn't bother me all that much. Plus, I enjoy the game. But let me know what you're playing. Go down below. Are you working on something on your PS5? Are you waiting for Returnal? Are you going to play something on your Xbox? Or are you on your PC? Let me know down below because we're all here to talk about gaming. And that's what I love to talk about. And that's all for now. Thanks for watching. And until next time, remember, enjoy your gaming. Later.